in my shop specifically, and probably a lot of other shops that do similar, no job we have is the same. Like nothing is the same. Like today we're making six foot, you know, or 10 foot tall statues. Um, you know, the next job we might be making like helmets for a space alien. And then the next job we might be making like a trophy and the next, you know, like everything, like no jobs are the same. And even though a statue is a statue is a statue, they're all different. And so if people, we almost have to reinvent the wheel every single time we do something. So the team has to collaborate and has to talk to each other. It's cool and it's always fun to learn on these. Like I got into this business because I love, you know, the making of things. Um, so this, like figuring it out is fun for me. I hired costume designers that I've worked with in the film industry and they're building all of this, all of the costumes at one and a half scale, which is a pain in the butt. And then we have to, you know, sculpt all the heads and cast them out of silicone and, um, and keep all the proportions and keep everything on model and, and make it look like the game assets, but just make it really, really nice and make everything like really have that like value, you know, like I just don't want to carve a foam statue and slap some paint on it. What we've done is we've taken all the tools in our toolboxes. So if a sculptor needs to sculpt an oversized head, why make them start with clay from scratch? So we take these game assets and we take it down about a quarter of an inch and we mill out a foam head so that the sculptor only has to put on about a quarter of an inch of clay, then he really has that room to find the personality and the character in that face. He doesn't have to worry about trying to figure out proportions and what's the right size of the head and which way is the neck turned and, and like all this kind of stuff. So we're, we're able to, you know, do things in a traditional sense, but use the techniques and the tools that we have that are a little bit more advanced. Uh, the bodies are kind of a no brainer to do out of foam. Um, you know, we, we take those files and we, we take them down so that, that there's no wardrobe on them. Um, and mill those out to pretty much build mannequins. And then inside of that goes uh, aluminum armatures um, so that everything comes apart like a mannequin because these things still have to be transported. <laughs> um, so we're basically building mannequins with costumes on them and then making really fancy, you know, heads and hands and everything um, and putting them in these really dynamic poses, which is a challenge also. Engineering, you know, backwards with the foam structures the you know the internal metal skeletons and then putting all this stuff on top of it and knowing about weight and you know what's what's the tip over on this like how heavy do those plates need to be so that these statues won't get pushed over or won't fall over um, you know having all of these rad tools in the shop just makes it so that it, I don't even have to think about it like let's mill this on the mill let's CNC this let's print this let's make this out of fabric or you know the the one character Flack has these little like plushies hanging off of his backpack and instead of trying to like figure out how to pattern this thing or taking it printing it or doing whatever we just milled out half of the plushie and then Hans was able to just pattern right onto that and then now she's making these like cool little plushies in you know kind of a quick turnaround and it's just you know it's just having these kind of shortcuts to make our jobs easier with this time crunch and under budgets and blah 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 it just it makes it it makes it fun too. I'm glad I have all these toys here that we could build all these cool statues and everything.